evening and welcome to Talks with Brian. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We are going to be discussing praise, validation and approval and why I believe um, these are the things that as a collective we are all addicted to. And, you know, again, we don't have the answers here on Talks to Brian. What we do like to encourage is for us to continue these conversations with our friends and with our families and our communities. Um, I think this is something that is, you know, that we have to speak about that we have to talk about what is in me that is seeking, that is needing, that is wanting praise, validation and approval. I think this is one of the biggest questions that we can ask ourselves, that we can ask ourselves and that, you know, there's truth in this. There is truth in this. So, you know, uh, let me just, whew, okay. It's been a while. I'm back. It's been a while. <laughs> Let me get comfortable. What? It, it, it costs. Okay. It absolutely costs the soul when we are needing or wanting or seeking praise, validation and approval. So one of the questions that I ask myself and that I have asked myself and then that I will probably continue to ask myself is, okay, by desiring praise, praise, validation and approval, this is what you are going to do. You are going to manipulate the way that you look. Yes, you are for someone's approval. You are going to manipulate the way that you look. And what do I mean by that? I remember, you know, a couple of years ago, I was going out and, you know, choosing my outfits or whatever. And there was these colorful trousers. And I said, you are not wearing that today. Because if you bump into so-and-so, they, they, can't, they, mm -mm, they can't see you like that. And I remember I told that voice in my head to just F off. I remember doing that and I felt so proud of myself. But this is an example of, you know, and we all do it. We all put on that lipstick or we all, you know, go to the gym and manipulate the way that we look for people's or someone's approval and praise and validation. Yes, we do. So we really have to own that. We really have to own that. We say, you know, we struggle to say no. We struggle to say no. So yes, you compromise yourself. We compromise ourselves by saying yes to things for praise, validation, and approval. Okay, the list can go on and on. Okay, so this is this is something, this is something that we have to pay attention to. We have to pay attention to this. Okay, I, I am losing. I am losing energy by wanting to be seen, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be approved, wanting to be validated. It's costing me. It's costing me my integrity. It's costing me my self-esteem. It's costing me um, truth. I'm not being truthful. I'm not being truthful. Because there is a want, there is a disease to please. There, there is a craving, a craving. And, you know, what's so funny is that we say um, that the people that have to go to the 12-step program are people that have, you know, um, alcoholic or, or drug addictions. And I just, no, no, I think all of us have to be on this 12-step problem, a 12-step program, forgive me. 12-step program, sorry. And say, hey, I'm Brian. And I seek praise, validation, and approval. And saying it out loud and releasing it is, is, is one thing. And then getting about the business. Getting about the business of saying, okay, I, I've, got to, I've got to work on this. I've got to work on this. OK, and this this is, you know, this is something that we can do with our close friends. 
with our close friends. Because then you can really get into an in-depth conversation. And it, it, these conversations might sound like this, okay, but the job that I'm in, the only way that I've seen people flourish and people fly and, and people do well is because they, they do get praised, they do get validation, they are approved. And because they're empowered, you know, um, they continue on to fly. So I, I, I need that. No, 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 you don't need anything. Okay, we were not born here. Michael Singer said this um, recently. We, we were not born here needing anything. Stop it. We're not born here seeking anything or wanting anything. These are just added layers that our arrogant minds have, uh, you know, have created. We're not here to need you do not need, I do not need, we do not need praise, validation, and approval. We just don't. So, yes, you will continue on having a conversation saying, okay, but for my job, I, I, I need this. I, I need this in order for me to flourish, in order for me to be empowered. I, I need this, you know. These relationships, this this group of people, this community, I, you know, I, I have to come across a, a, a certain way that is not you. <laughs> you know, they, they, have to, they have to like me. Why do they have to like you? Why is it important that they have to like you? Why, again, are you going to manipulate yourself? This is what it is. This is manipulation. And I'm sorry, some people are not going to like these words, but we have to get raw. We have to get raw with this truth. That the things that we do for praise, validation and approval is, is outstanding. It's absolutely outstanding. And recognizing it and making the decision to say, okay, I've got to cut back because at the core, I know, at the core, I know that I am whole and complete. I am whole and complete as I am, as I am. You know, and, and, and you guys can say, well, easy for you to say, Brian, <laughs> and, but this is huge. You know, I, I've known that I could, um, I knew that I had a gift for entertaining, for performing since probably around five, maybe. And anyone that, that is in that field of work, whether they're on the stage or behind the scenes, mainly I can speak for the people on the stage, that pff, the one thing that we do have in common is that praise, validation, and approval. It is addictive. We are, we are doing it for the applause. Okay? And that is just, you know, it's not the only reason why we're doing it. Let, let me just make that clear. But it is addictive. It is addictive. That applause, that the, the crowd, the approval for those who have who are influencers online that like those thousands of likes that, the, you know, you don't even have to be an influencer. You can just be anyone on social media. That approval, that comment, that share, all of this. So, you know, I actually celebrate, you know, as someone that posts daily, that has all types of content. And, you know, it's, if, if one video gets one like or if two people watch this vlog or listen to this, I am absolutely now, you know, and it's a daily thing, content. That's exactly the way it is supposed to be. I honoured myself. I'm honouring, you know, that the work that I'm doing has integrity. If one person like this, God bless that one person. Thank you very much, whoever that one person is, you know, and so on. You know, if there are videos that I do that get more attention, that get more, you know, likes or whatever, great, fantastic. And that's, you know, and, and I accept that. 
but it doesn't, what I'm not going to do is say, well, this is what people like and this is what's being approved. So I've got to do more of this, more of this, more of this. You will exhaust yourself. I will exhaust myself. And this is another thing as well. It is exhausting. It is exhausting. Okay. To be that person that's constantly saying yes, that's constantly filling other people's cups. Because they like being told, oh, you're amazing, or you're such a good person, or da, da da It is exhausting because you're not being true to yourself. It is exhausting to, you know, be putting in all these hours on your face or at the gym or anyway, for, again, for, you know, because you like that people are going to comment and praise and validate and, you know, but you know that, that you're doing this. For someone's approval, for people's approval. Not all the time. I am generally speaking, by the way. I'm generally speaking. But the likes, the comments, the approval, the validation, we start to live for it. We start to live for it. And this is something that we have to talk about and we have to admit and we have to clean. We have to clean this because if we don't, it's, gonna, it's, it's just going to be something that is just programmed, that's normal, and it will come to bite us. Okay, we have to, again, continue to esteem ourselves esteem ourselves and release and let go. I let go. Whether um, I, 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 I let go. I completely surrender. I don't need anything. I, I actually don't need anything but this present moment. I actually am content with whatever happens. I am not going to force or manipulate or cre create something that is not with integrity. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not going to compromise myself. I'm not going to betray myself. When I mean no, I'm going to say no. I'm going to have the will to say actually no. I'm going to stop putting on extra this. So I'm going to stop, you know, trying to look like Wolverine or whoever. I'm, I'm, for who? who? Who is this for is another great question to ask. Who is this for? You know? Because when we really really, really pay attention to our soul, to our essence, to our truth. Again, I'm repeating myself, but it's important. We come to an understanding that, oh my goodness, I am whole and complete as I am. I am perfect the way that I am. And if they don't think I'm a good person because I said no, that has got absolutely nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with me. Or if, you know, I wear this or if I stop going to the gym or if I don't wear any makeup or whatever, I, 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 I'm still going to see myself and love myself and validate myself. Or if I'm working really, really hard and no one has noticed, that's okay. I notice me. I, I, I validate me. I know that I'm doing my best. I know that I'm smashing it. And I, I just have to have a private party with myself and celebrate myself. I don't need external validation. I don't need it. I don't need it. And I'm no longer going to seek it. From this day on, I'm going to see the jewel in me. I'm going to validate the jewel in me. I'm going to celebrate the jewel in me. I know I'm no longer going to manipulate or force. 
All right. Something to think about, something to dwell about. Thank you. Bye-bye.